Okay, we're now in our new unit. So we'll be talking about electrochemistry and redox reactions. So redox reactions are when we have electron transfer between um, two different compounds. And then this is from, so the one that's giving the electron is called the reductant. to the oxidant, right? So the oxidant is getting reduced, it's gaining electron, and then the reductant is getting oxidized, it's losing the electron. So you might hear some acronyms. Um, one common one is Leo the lion says Ger. So losing electron is an oxidation, and gaining electron is a reduction. Um, so the reductant wants to give away its electron to get oxidized. So this is performing the action of reducing something. So don't get confused. Um, this can be accompanied by atom transfer too. We'll give some examples of this later on. By atom transfer. Um, let's see. So things that you need to be able to do is, so on your own, review, be able to assign oxidation states of different atoms. I have some examples of what you should be able to do in the outline. Okay. And then, uh, given a chemical reaction, you should, we should, okay, we should identify Half reactions. Um, so this is just splitting up our oxidation and reduction into half reactions. Oxidation and reduction. OK, so one example would be, let's say, this is from the Atkins textbook. Suppose we have a full chemical reaction. So let's say we take zinc metal, and then we add aqueous silver ions. And that ends up giving us aqueous zinc 2 plus and 2 so this is a full reaction, right? So this is a real thing. But we can break it up into two conceptual half reactions that aren't real, but this way it will help us kind of keep track of our electrons. So we'll break it up into, let's say, so zinc 0 is going to zinc 2 plus. So goes to plus 2 electrons. So this is an oxidation. Uh, also known as, uh, so zinc zero is going to zinc two plus, so it's losing electrons. And then, so this is, would be also called an anodic reaction. And then, if we look at silver is going to silver zero, then we have and then, so this would be reduction. Thotic. So again, these half reactions aren't real things by themselves. You can't consider half reaction by itself. It has to be, so an oxidation must be accompanied by a reduction to form a full reaction. These are only con conceptual ways of mapping a reaction so we can kind of keep track of our electrons and of our potentials later on. So again, keep in mind you can't write an answer if I ask you for a reaction. This, one of these, is not sufficient. Um, okay, what else do I want to say about this? Oh, and then uh, another concept that we can talk about is redox couples. And that's just uh, what is the, the two components of either side. So for this one, we can consider the redox couple zinc 2 plus zinc. So the oxidized species and the reduced species. And then this one would be silver plus and silver. 
zero. So these are these are Rios couples for each half reaction because they're what's one on each side. That's the couple. Okay. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Another thing is having the half reaction does not tell us the mechanism of how the, this reaction actually proceeds. We might know more from other processes if we see, like for example, atom transfer. So these are all things to keep in mind um, for half reactions. Uh, so next video we'll talk about balancing reacts reactions, which many of you will have seen before in high school.